1789, the Estates General meets, as well as the storm of the Bastille. In 1790, the civil constitution of clergy is formed. In 1792, France declared war on Austria, as well as Brunswick, Manet, Bestow. In 1793, I was executed. Okay, thanks. Um, being the king of France, how could you not notice that there was food shortages? And the people of your people in France were starving. Well, living in Versailles, I was not aware of the total situation of my people. If the situation had reached me sooner, maybe something could have been done about it. Well, maybe if you hadn't been spending money on personal luxuries and games, your country might have been richer. As a king, I had absolute power. And that's how it worked in the old regime. What event do you feel most led to your downfall? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, do you, you okay? You okay? Yeah, thanks. Well, I think when they stormed the Bastille, it was a major turning point for my people. Also, when I considered my power by signing, for example, the Declaration of Rights of Man. Um, what do you think started your war against Austria? When the old regime was being taken over, the rest of Europe was scared that the same thing would happen to them. Okay. Um, why do you feel you had to run from your country? Well, the people gained too much power and I felt I could buy some time if I ran. I felt my life was in danger. Uh -huh. um, as you were brought to the guillotine, you said, a dying innocent man. Could you explain what you meant by this? Well, what I meant was that my rule alone did not bring about France's troubles. My death would not end the, the troubles in France. Okay, thanks for your time, King Louis. Hi. You're welcome. That's all the questions that we have for now. If you're in, at a cemetery in Paris, where our next guest is Neopol Neapolitan... Bonaparte, and he was a very powerful leader in France. He worked his way up through the chains of command as a young commander, and became very powerful. In 1804, he was almost he gained virtually absolute power until um, 1821 when he died. Let's go in and see if we can find him. All right. Okay, here he is, right here. Let's open it up, see what we, what we find. What is that? Whoa. What is this? What is this? Ah, oh, my head, my head. Napoleon. You mind Napoleon. We, Napoleon. Correct yourself. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Well, can't you see I'm trying to rest here? Go ahead, go ahead with your freaking questions. Why do you believe you were so successful gaining respect to the people of France? Well, because I went up through the ranks of the army at a young age. I uh, became a general at a very young age, and I overthrew the current government in France. And all my tremendous victories gained me the respect of the French people, because we needed a leader. And I, Napoleon, not an ordinary man, was your leader. And why do you feel, what event do you feel most led to your downfall? Well, that would have to be uh, my 
war against Russia, ill-fated war. We went in, you see, thinking we'd conquer. They retreated, burnt all their things, villages, you know, stuff like that. We uh, got way in there, and there was nothing to feed our troops. It was very cold, and we died as a result. Well, not me. Many troops were lost, and then at the Battle of Waterloo was my final battle, where I was banished from France. So even though you had many victories, this one mistake led to your downfall? Yes, because the people, you know, that you follow, they don't, after one setback like that, they don't remember all the great victories and the better state that you brought them. They were all in very desperate need of a leader, and they did not remember what I had done for them. Mm -hmm. um, your rule was similar to the old regime in some ways, but also different in many. Could you tell us some of your policies being a leader? Well, my policy, like the old regime, was man was head of the household. Complete rule, like me over France. But it was different as in everyone got a free chance for school, public government funded schools. Things like that were reforms that were made to make it more like revolutionary ideas. Um, when you were the leader of France, could you describe and tell us what your favorite, most memorable battle was? I liked our attack on Austria. The Austrians expected me and my army to <laughs> attack from the from head on, but instead we attacked from the rear, cutting off any retreat they had. It was brilliant. And um, can you explain um, this? Uh, the constitutional system and how it affected France? Well, a constitutional system was that we did not want other nations that we had conquered and put revolutionary ideas in. We did not want them trading with Britain because we are still fighting with Britain. So uh, as we, uh, we put a blockade on trade with Britain and uh, it backfired. Our economy suffered because Britain taxed all the trade that they got that was coming to France. All the ships that passed Britain that would be coming to us, they taxed. This hurt our economy dramatically. Yes, and um, what event led to the invasion of Russia? Well, back to the constitutional system. Russia's defiance to follow the con continental system and its continuous trade with Britain was the defiance. So. We could not accept that. We had to attack. Okay, I think that's all we have for that you. That is all you have? Yes. Good. Now go! Leave it to my peace! Watch the lead. Now close it! For watching our tribute to kings and emperors, next week we're gonna have the one, the real, the only king. You're in love,